What is going on? We're back here with the Garage Queen Mojito Jeep. I'm starting to think this thing never leaves the garage. Today we got something that uh, Kim and I have been contemplating doing. Uh, may or may not pay off. It's one of those things you just got to try. See if it works, if you like it. If not, it's easily removable. So we'll go ahead and just be able to remove it. Today, I got in the mail a package from Diode Dynamics. And it's gonna kind of, once I install that, it'll kind of be in the way for what I was planning on trying. So I wanna go ahead and get this done, see if we like it before I go ahead and install what they sent me there. So I won't drag this out any longer. Today's mod, Plasti Dip. Yeah, I know, it's not really a mod, but I've never used this stuff. We're gonna be painting some stuff with the red, but we just like some accents, some things to make it different. And what we learned from doing the Cayman here is that if you don't try and be different, you know, you're never gonna stand out. What we're gonna attempt to do is I'm gonna pull the grill, and Kim and I have thought it might, might look cool. Again, we're gonna find out, we're gonna try it, and we're gonna see if it pays off. But we're gonna just paint these two, the two slots here, just to give it a little red accent. We don't wanna go too crazy. And then we're actually going to Plasti dip part of the vent here, uh, the Rubicon louvers in the hood. Okay, so you probably saw in our last Flowmaster cold air intake install video, it's really easy to remove this grill. All you really need is a flathead screwdriver. There's six plastic tabs across the top of the, the grill. Uh, you just gotta pop the head out. And then once the head of the clip is out, you can see there, then you can just pop out the actual tab that is sitting down in there. The, the flathead will do it, but it does help to have one of these tools from, like I got this Matt CC um, trim removal kit. I got it on Amazon, super cheap. Um, so it does help once you get the head out to just use this and that pops it out super easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go along with the flathead, pop the head out of all of them and then I'll use that to pop them out the rest of the way. Okay, so all six of those. The heads are out, then I can take my trim tool and just slide them under. Now that that's all done, we're just going to, nice and easy, we're gonna kinda get a good grip on the grill and start working it out. It definitely seems now that this is our second time popping this out, it seems like it's coming a little easier than the last time. have it just got to get the bottom to pop out and that's that so just to show you real quick it's nice and easy there's just these tabs at the bottom once you get the top all those those uh, plastic clips out of the top it's just all these metal tabs along the bottom that you're popping out of the thing so on the back side of the grill here we're gonna try to get these this whole plastic insert out um, it looks like these are gonna be t20s to remove these I should have one, two, three, and four. And that looks like that should do this piece here. But I'm, it looks as though the center section is also overlapping. So I may have to undo all of those as well to be able to get that piece out. for the center section and see if that helps. It does look like there's some other tabs and stuff that I'm gonna have to figure out, but shouldn't be too hard once I get the screws and release the center piece here. So with the torque screws out, now we gotta start working on the clips. Um, you can see there's a white one here. This one's really easy, you just kinda push down on this end and it'll pop through this way. These ones, there's a bunch of these around. It's a little trickier. You do have to pop, kinda pop this edge up and over this tab. See if I can point to it a little better here. So you gotta flip this up and over, and then that will allow you to kind of push this away. Um, you can kind of see I already got this one going here. Let's see, this one going right here. I've already got it popped out. Um, like I said, you gotta kind of pry, get this piece right here up and over that tab, and then this tab will push back and allow it to release like that. So we've got that side out. I still need to get this side out. 
and then we'll see what else I got to work out to get to the middle, get it released from the middle section. And then I'm not sure, it looks like I might have another tab here in the middle because now that it's loose, it seems like it's getting hung up here in the middle. So I'm going to try and get that tab there and we'll see if then if this whole piece will slide out. Get this up over the top of this tab. It seems like it should be easy, but it's not quite as easy as it seems. Get it up over that tab and then you can kind of come in from the bottom and try to release it. There we go. So now that's released, let's see if this bottom piece will slide out. Oh, I still have it. There we go. So I kind of just was able to twist it out from underneath and it released then from the bottom tab here that I hadn't done, but that's it. I'm not gonna lie, I thought when I pulled this grill insert out that it would actually have that outer gray outline around the, the grill as well as part of this. Um, I'm now obviously realized this is literally just the like mesh grill piece So I'm gonna have to continue taking more of the grill apart because we do want to plasti dip this whole screen but also That outer ring around the outside edge. All right, so I decided I don't want to half-ass this thing So I am going to go ahead and finish removing the rest of the grill inserts and then see what I got to do to get that underneath piece it looks like it is just another piece that'll unclip. I'll get the rest of these grill inserts out first. I have to continue. I've got two more of the Torx uh, T20 screws here because I didn't do anything on this far right side. And then I'm back to just a bunch more of these uh, fastener clips. Now that I've got the two here and here, and these two on the top, it does make things a little looser on the bottom. Yeah, actually, just like that, I actually was able to work it out without actually unclipping them. And then I just gotta get this uh, passenger side one out. The top one first on the top side, and then yeah, it just releases from the bottom. So that's the trick. That's actually, I'd say it's a pro tip that I was having a hard time figuring out, but get the top one loose and then it'll just kind of lift up and out of the bottom side. Okay, so here's the, here's what we're looking at after we get the grill insert out. And you can see this is all kind of loose, but there's a few things holding it down. But the first thing I noticed is it looks like for the center piece, there's a couple of tabs here and it looked like if I release that, I may be able to get this um, center section out because the center section overlaps the two outer pieces again. Okay, so they look, they actually looked like they were clipped in in tabs, but when I just started lifting and kind of pulling it apart from the other piece, it unclipped and then this whole thing slides out. You can see there are a couple of tabs up top here. That whole piece comes out. I want to paint all this section here where my thumb's pointing to, but just on those two outer edges. So now I just got to figure out how to get the left two pieces out. This housing is pretty loose except around the headlight bezel it is completely like like locked in tight so you can see going around the bezel here there are there's a little tab here and this needs to get pushed out that little tab will get pushed out and that seems to release this but i'm also haven't quite sure figured out yet these so all it is is a little metal clip that kind of pinches on that that tab that as it comes up through. I gotta get all three of these off. And then once I get them off, I think I can just push these through and hopefully this whole piece will come off. Just keep lifting this up. Yeah, that, that's easy. You can just pull up on it and it pops off, but it did help to pop that first one off to get the rest of these tabs going. And then you can see it's pretty loose. Only thing I have left is on this, this backside is this last little tab. What I did, now that it's out, I masked off the headlight bezel area because that's the only part I don't want to spray. 
Um, we want to get this whole surround for these two grill pieces with the red. What I decided is it doesn't matter because whatever I don't want showing here is gonna be hidden behind the grill anyways. So I masked that off, I'm gonna spray this all as one and it'll be hidden behind the green grill. Plasti Dip says um, to, to apply a first light coat spreading evenly across all the items and making sure you work it in the different angles so you catch all the cracks that you wanna fill and then come back with multiple coats. They suggest at least four coats. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's getting there after multiple coats of Plasti Dip. So while I'm letting the plastic dip dry on the grill pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and drop down the insulation piece here on under the hood. It looks like it's just a few tabs around holding it up in place here. So I'm gonna grab another one of my Matt CC uh, trim removal tools. And I should be able to pop those off. So here's what it looks like underneath that insulation piece under the hood. What I'm here looking for is to see how these, oh this hood, this looks like this may be the easiest thing I've done yet because there's just these little tabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it looks like it'll probably just push out. The scoop is out. That was super easy. We'll go ahead and mask this off then how we want. So I caught Kim just before she was calling her tonight and got her to help me mask off the areas that we didn't want to get the red Plasti Dip on because we kind of had an idea how we wanted to look when you're looking down the hood and just see those pops of red. I'm gonna lay down a couple of coats of Plasti Dip on this. These are all drying over here. I do probably need to do one more coat on these and get a first coat on this and hopefully this pays off. I let these pieces fully dry and you can see they turned out pretty good. I was getting a little concerned as I was spraying them because it was looking real uh, bubbly or almost fish-eyed. As it dried, it flattened down. Wasn't sure how well it was getting all the way in there, but I think it turned out pretty good. The color's pretty close, it's just not as shiny as like the tow hooks. And there we have it. Most of this will be covered, all this excess that I don't want will be covered, and just this ring will be showing like I had hoped. Got the pieces kind of dried up except the hood vent one, but I'm gonna go ahead and start placing it back in. Pressing this on now. Okay, and then I need my three clips to put back, and these metal clips should just press right back on to where I took them off of. Make sure you press them all the way down so they lock on. Then I just need to go go along and continue piecing all the pieces back together. So as you clip each of these sections back in, make sure that you, you know, you get them actually to lock down in the clips. You'll hear them kind of snap into place. There we go. So I got both outer edges done. And then, as you probably remember, as we were taking it apart, the center piece kind of goes over the, the top of the tube. So we've got the four white clips to go back in and then all of the screws. And just like that, she's all back together. So I think what we were going for turned out. It's time to pop it back on. So the last coat of paint on the hood vent is all dried up. So now I just need to go ahead and peel off the layers of the painter's tape that we masked it off with.
So I got it all peeled off. The taping off didn't work out perfectly and peeling back the tape, it caused a lot of jagged edges and stuff. This definitely isn't gonna be a final project, but we're gonna use it. I'm gonna put it on just so that Kim and I can see it and see if we even like it. I think the grill is growing on me a little bit more and I sent Kim pictures. She hasn't seen it in person yet, but she's really liking the grill piece. So we'll put this in just to get an idea if we like it. If we do, then um, we'll figure out a more permanent solution for painting this or something else, maybe even actual vinyl wrap. And to put this back in to the hood, it's super easy. Literally from the top, just kind of set it in, pop it down. There was just the six clips underneath there and it's in and done. After living with just looking at this for a couple of days and the grill, I think we've decided that we're both a fan of how the grill turned out. It adds a nice cool little pop and a little accent in the grill, but we have decided that this was a fail. We like the idea and we feel like we do need to tie in some red into the hood. Otherwise it just seems kind of funny by itself, but this did not work. We're kind of at a loss. Usually we're pretty good at figuring things out. So if you have any suggestions, thoughts, let us know what you think of this, even though it's not perfect what you think of the little red accents in here, but put it in the comments. What do you think? Should we try something else? But for now, I'm gonna actually peel off this Plasti Dip. That quickly. Back to uh, original. Thanks again for checking out our videos. I know this one was kind of a basic one, just playing around with some Plasti Dip and some different uh, appearance features, just things to different to try to be different from everybody else. And what's cool is that with things like Plasti Dip, you can try things out that you might not have tried in the past because you didn't want to spray paint or do something permanent. And I always want to encourage people to try things. You know, it's your vehicle. If you think it might look cool, give it a shot. Worst thing that happens, you don't like it, you pull it off and you go back to stock or whatever. While you're down there commenting, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. The channel seems to be growing pretty quick, so I hope you're all enjoying our videos. Um, Kim will be back on another video here shortly, but the next up is gonna be the light bar install here. I got that coming up soon.